everybody. My name is Lisa Snyder. I'm the founder and CEO of Tokativity, the global canvas community for women. I'm here with Myrtle and Jules, the Daga couple from South Africa. Um, they're traveling around the United States right now, and I'm so excited to have this opportunity to smoke some weed with you. Oh yeah, no, we're ready uh, to go. <laughs> we, are, we are just absolutely loving Portland, Oregon. Um, uh, my best thing about Portland is the stickers that you see that says, Keep Portland Weird. Yes. <laughs> I love all of the colorful people, and it really is an honor. We have been so excited to meet the ladies from Tokativity and cement this relationship between Fields of Green for All um, and our women activists in South Africa. There's our token male over there. Token don't male. Don't token. have to worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to be here at Delta 9 House, the home of Russ Belville and Laurie Duckworth, um, a 420 friendly guest house here in Portland. And uh, what a beautiful evening we've got here in the west coast of America. Yeah, the other cool thing about it is we don't have to wait up till one o'clock in the morning to do the feed for our, into South Africa because there's nine hour difference and if you're doing it in the afternoon here, mm -hmm. we're doing it at one o'clock in the morning at home. Mm -hmm. So we kind of either snooze or we're really tired by the time we get to it. Yeah, we've had to get really creative about connecting with our South Africa sisters about, okay, if it's 9 a.m. there, then it's like, you know, it's 6, evening, eight, it's 6 p.m. at our here, place. Yeah. And yeah, like vice versa. So um, also, Check out our hair. It's yeah, pretty look, much the same color. <laughs> that was a really cool, fun find. Yeah. <laughs> um, so today um, we were gifted some flower from women-owned Meraki Gardens. Nice. Um, she's been a, a business member of Tokativity for a while now, and we're really excited to um, to unbox this flower and this flower gift. So let's see what's in here. Oh my. This looks like deliciousness. What's going on here? Sunny D. That's one of their strains. Give that a sniff. What does it smell like? Jeez, I've never smelled anything like it. <laughs> I really haven't. It's like, I don't know, it's fruit punch. The whole thing's like, you should you have ice, like and ice and lemon with it. it. Put it in a drink. Man, Ooh. they got some dark cheese. Um, Stacy, who owns Meraki Garden, said this was uplifting. And so we chose this as our flower to try and try on okay yeah we've also got some cool stickers in here and stuff so let's let's grind this up let me see what this banana yeah, punch is because i tell you that banana Check it out. here you hold bananas that. Um, this. bananas only just kind of got to south africa it's quite i don't know how they managed to develop a banana terpene but the guys are and here's another one from eight thousand miles away are these like eights do you suppose kind of that's yeah. an eighth, perhaps, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I would say... An eighth is three and a half grams, eight quarters, halves, and a whole ounce. And here, a whole ounce in Oregon is cheaper than a whole eighth in L.A. True story. Yes. We it's... have just traveled, like, no time zone, and the weed <laughs> is so differently priced and so differently taxed, and as soon as you cross this imaginary line that some guy put on the map, different shit happens and different human rights kick in, or the lack of them. Mm -hmm. So we go from human rights violation to human rights violation every time we travel. And we're not going next door to Idaho, because they're, they're, they're oh kind of gosh, like a lost no. cause. No, it's crazy over there. So why don't you tell everybody a little <laughs> bit about yourselves and like, you know, what's going on in South Africa? So in South Africa, we also have these really strange gray areas. In September last year, we, um, we got handed down what we call the privacy judgment, which means that we are now allowed to use, possess, and cultivate cannabis within private spaces in South Africa. Unfortunately, no trade is allowed, so no money must change hands, but at least behind closed doors, we have got our privacy and we have a defense in court. That hasn't been written into law yet. The deadline for that to be written into law is that we want, and our big thing is evidence-based regulations. And um, Lisa and I were just talking about the various regulations in the various states. And here in Oregon, you are allowed four or five plants. Now, what, where is the evidence to say that six plants is harmful to you or society? So that's what we mean by evidence-based regulations. And we're hoping that South Africa will enact the most human rights and evidence-based cannabis laws and regulations ever to have been done in the world. 
the, other, the other crazy thing that we find in, in um, the Federation here is everybody there are pockets of people doing their own thing and the legislators the more they moralize the harsher the laws but that is not evidence that's what Myrtle means there is no evidence about anything to do with any law in America the evidence has not been ventilated so you can have a glycoma medicine there but you're not allowed to have it here and it depends on what kind of cancer you've got as to whether you can get treated here because it's a bunch of guys in a room going no there's there's medicine for that it's okay we don't need medical marijuana for that because because remember more studies need to be done and whether you like it or not more studies do need to be done on the human condition but if anybody of us go into a place and say listen this works for us we should get the medication but if other stuff is available you don't get cannabis as medication because they're all trying to stop you from using it it's the bizarrest thing it's really difficult I could go in now down the road and tell somebody I've got lower back pain and I would probably get some weed medically, yeah? In Oregon. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a medical patient here in Oregon, um, but I do know that, like, you know, there's, you can, there's, there's doctors you can just go to and they'll write you a prescription. <laughs> and there's really not much difference now between the rec, um, Hallelujah. state of rec and, and medical. Hallelujah, but, sister. But the cost is, is still very high for medical patients, and that's a problem. The, the thing we see, we, we, we know. Love some. We, oh, we, we, I'm doing the sunny D. I'm just <laughs> interrupting to do the sunny D. <laughs> this, cr this crazy argument about medical and about um, does it taste like mm. fruit punch? Does it taste as if it should have two vodkas and ice around it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the vodka, I'll take the ice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that is really, really nice. Yeah, though. take the rest. <laughs> so are these guys close by yes they're here in portland meraki gardens um they were just at our alice in wonderland themed social we have themed socials for Tokyo. <coughs> we've got a couple more alice in wonderland themes one themed ones coming up there's one in uh, eugene there's one in denver coming up and really excited for token glow which is happening on the 31st of august um it is in Johannesburg. Yes, <laughs> and I'd just like to make a big, um, a big shout out to Lana from Toasted Treats, who is organising the the Token Glow in Johannesburg on the thirty first. Uh, Lana is incredibly hardworking activist, mother of small children, cannabis enthusiast, and um, unfortunately we won't be there for the event. But we're really, really looking forward to the live videos and the. <coughs> Uh, and the photographs from that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you wouldn't believe how high it is on our agenda, gender equality in cannabis. <coughs> it's yeah. an ideal situation it's, uh, for it to happen in South Africa. We see cannabis as being a trailblazer from the outset. Because remember, mm -hmm. we don't have a medical program and we're going wreck. We're mm -hmm. just, we've got nothing and we're going for everything. You're going for everything, we're not, we're not, which is, this I is think not the a, way you should go. Yeah. And then let them chip away at it, but hopefully they don't. You know yeah. what I mean? But like, yeah. ask for everything you want and then see what happens. If they don't give us what we want, we are going straight back to court. Mm -hmm. Because in South Africa, with all of the widespread corruption, we've got lots of poverty, we've got, we are one of the most unequal societies in the world. The one thing that we do have is our judiciary, is our court system. And we're gonna use that to get what we want. So how can you, as you're doing this work, instill into your intentions the quality from all angles like how does one try to do that with what you're doing you do that by including everybody in everything that you do so our first priority is to get the message out to everybody and we've always said that if uh, if people invite us somewhere we will try our best to be there and so we have spoken in front of uh, five people nine people and this weekend we spoke in front of 50,000 people so um, best, if right? you ask us we'll come it's just a case of saying the same thing over and over and over again this is for all South Africans this is for all cannabis people of the whole world that's why our nonprofit company is called fields of green for all so we try to be as inclusive as possible and the other thing that's different is we're doing it by a human rights argument we don't really care what cannabis does but we do know what the harms of prohibition are so we we never really extol the virtues of the plant we don't have a medical argument we don't really have a hemp argument 
we are, we, it's my human right to do with it what I please and let's cut to the chase. Glycloma this and you know so many different rules and regulations here for what you can and can't do. We're trying to open it up for everybody who wants to use it to use it for whatever they want to use it for. It's up to them. That is your human right. And I think the medical argument is really flawed because it presupposes that someone is sick, who is sick, has more human rights than me. But the reason I'm not sick is because I use cannabis. Mm. You see, what came first, the chicken or the egg? So the re we think we are fit and well because of our use of the plant, and our medical argument is a one-liner every time we go out, and it's, why wait till you're sick? Right. It's about um, I can't wait to hang out with you more and connect, <laughs> and thank you so much for reaching out and making sure that we met in person. Yes, I'm really person. excited. I cannot wait to come visit South Africa. I think we can both be proud of ourselves. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes for <Absolutely>. sure. <laughs> Hello all the Tokativity people and then watch our Instagram feed when we unpack this mystery bag from South Africa, but I think we're busy running out of battery on our phone. So, yep. so just keep watching the Tokativity Instagram feed, keep watching Fields of Green for All in the Dacha Couple feed and we'll be back. And Meraki Gardens, that Thank is you very knockout much. Thank you, Meraki. That is knockout <laughs> Thank you.